Hey, this is Coach Bill 315, and um, today we are going to be doing the Georgia Loop. It's about 60 miles. Um, if you want to get technical, it's 57 miles. And I'm going to do it in uh, two and a half days. So I needed a pack light, so I got my pack um, weighing at a base weight of 7.9. And then with all my food and water, and I'm carrying two, li two liters of water, which brings it up to just under 18, just under 18 pounds. So I'm doing the recording now uh, because the recording wasn't really working. Well, the audio wasn't working uh, on day number one. So I woke up about 6.30. Well, let me backtrack. I came in Friday night camped at the parking lot and then um, I woke up about 6.30 by 7.15 I was on the trail and yeah I'll let you guys uh, watch the rest of it hope you enjoy over and out Coach Bill 315 <laughs> So, yeah, um, did about uh, 23 miles today, and um, um, the Duncan Ridge uh, section is pretty difficult uh, because of the lack of water. There's about a 10 between 15 mile section where there's no water. So you got to be kind of creative on how to get water. I'm going to hang my beer bag in just a couple moments now, and then... Uh, watch some Netflix and pretty much just, you know, Netflix and chill. It's almost 8 o'clock, so, yeah. Good night, y'all. Hey, uh, wow. Good morning. It's about 7-11, and it is humid and hot. Even though I slept very well, it was really sticky throughout the night just because how high and humid it is. But it's that time. We need to get moving. <laughs> Alright, so I need about five more minutes. Alright, later. So, I just met up with one of my friends, uh, Dimitri. It was pretty nice. Uh, we were able to uh, have some breakfast, some coffee. Uh, last night, he hiked in from this parking lot right off uh, Interstate 60. So, I was able to actually catch up with him this morning. And so, we hiked for a little bit, had some coffee, some breakfast. Definitely some good company. Uh, because I haven't really seen a whole lot of people on this trail. I've seen one other person and that was uh, today. It's probably because I'm getting closer to the road. But I still have a lot more to go. And I want to get at least 11 more miles done today. And it's currently uh, 1241. So let's get going. So I decided to take a break a little early. It's uh, it's about four o'clock, and I'm at Bryson Gap, and I got my water boiling, and I have my water filtering over there, I'm trying to utilize as much daylight as possible. 
But I'm gonna cook up some dinner. I'm gonna have some chicken teriyaki with rice and vegetables. So this ought to be good. This hike's been pretty hard so far. My feet, they're just they're just tired. I'm dealing with plantar fasciitis or however you say it. <laughs> um pretty much uh my feet are always sore even um when I'm home, waking up in the morning. So I'm dealing with issues like that. But I'm gonna enjoy this chicken teriyaki, get some energy flowing, and then try to crank out um, another, let's see, it's about four. Mm. I'm gonna hike for at least another three more hours. So hopefully about six more miles. Oh, it's getting lighter, I like it. Alright. The Belizean Trail. This way. So I knocked out 20 miles today. I'm pretty happy with that because that leaves me about, I believe, 13 more miles to uh, Woody Gap and then basically I'm done yeah I but do. I am feeling a little tired so I'm gonna make uh, my breakfast for um, for dinner so I'm pretty much having two dinners I mean I do have some extra like oatmeal and stuff and power bars and stuff like mm, that but breakfast I don't think I'm gonna um, need it in the morning um, I think oatmeal is gonna be just fine and you know, I'm hungry, so I brought the food, might as well eat it, right? So, yeah, 20 miles, 13 more to go. Good morning. It's uh, about 7.45, I'm finally hitting the trail, got all my stuff packed up this morning, I kind of slept in a little late, I, I mean I was sleeping so well, uh, it wasn't so humid down here where where I am, like on the AT, uh, so I was able to sleep so good, I almost like slept for like 11 hours. <laughs> That's more more sleep than I get at home. But yeah, got all myself packed up. Got 13 more miles to go. Got my water. I think I got everything. So I don't know if I if I'll need a stop or not. But I got 13 more miles. Yeah, so this uh this hike is definitely challenging. Every single time when you're on the AT and you're going into a gap, you know what that means? Going down. Once you go down, gotta come back up. By the way, it's eleven eleven. Make that wish. Oh, it's been so humid. I feel like my shirt has been wet for like two full days now. This is gross. It hasn't rained since I've been here. Well, since I've been hiking. Some of the leaves still have drips of water in them. And it hasn't rained for, I don't know, since I've been out here for about two days now, three days. Ah, it's all humid. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the biggest rattlesnake I've ever seen out in the woods. I mean, that thing is huge. Whew. Look at that. Wow. Definitely want to stay away from that. 
not moving, so that's a good sign. So here's my path. I'm going to be going along these rocks over here and staying very far away from that. <laughs> wow. Alright, just arriving at Woody Gap. And uh, wait a minute. This isn't the parking lot. Darn it. I meant the wrong parking lot. I'm just joking. There's big red. I am exhausted. That was the, the Georgia Loop in about two and a half days. About 60 miles. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Alright, well, I need to go get some Waffle House. I'm starving.